So the question has come up, can you use your TI Inspire casts for implicit graphing? And the answer is yes, you actually can graph relations in two variables with your TI Inspire using this zeros command. It's the zeros, zeros command. And I'm going to show you how to do it. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you if you don't have a TI Inspire cast, but you just have a regular TI Inspire, you can use something called the in solve command. Uh, I think it's a lot more difficult. It's certainly more time consuming, but you could use this. So you can use either one if you have a cast, but this is the one that I would use if I had a, on my cast. Um, so you're going to you're going to take an expression that's in terms of two variables and put it in and the calculator is going to return this uh, in a kind of in a symbolic form with y isolated. So I, I think this is going to make sense. Let's just take a look at a couple um, yeah, let's just go to our calculator and take a look, okay? So here we go. So this is going to, here you're at your TI Inspire CAS. Uh, you've chosen the graphing part, and you're going to type in the command zeros, remembering that when you type in a command on your Inspire, see how the letters right now are in italics? When it recognizes it, it puts it into standard print. And that's supposed to help you recognize or affirm that the calculator has recognized what, you, what, you're, what it thinks it's asking you to do. So I'm going to drop in this function, and I'm going to take, um, I don't know, x squared. I have one written down here. Minus y squared. Minus y squared. Minus 4. And now what is really important here is that you do put this in terms of y. So I'm going to put this command in. So here's a command but I want this thing in terms of y. So the comma y at the end it means in terms of y. And, then you hit it, and, and there you have that, that implicit function. So I hope that's helpful to you. Why can't you see what the function was? Uh, expression. I shouldn't be calling it a function. What that expression is. Here's another one. And this is one that somebody asked me earlier. To, and you know what? Let me do this one first. That somebody sent me an email and asked me to do this one. But let me try this one first. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a new graph in. So I'm just going to graph here. I'm going to put this one in, and it looks like this. It's kind of weird looking, I think. It is just, so same command, zeros, right? Holy crap, yeah. Zeros. Zeros. And then I'm going to put in this function, and the function he, that I had was 4x squared, so 4x squared plus 9y squared. Tell me what shape that is. Minus 2, comma, y. Hello. And enter that. <coughs> That's kind of good looking, isn't it? So there is that expression, that implicit expression shown as a graph. All right? Okay. Here's the last one, and this is the one that I was asked about earlier today. Let me see if I can drop this one in for you guys really quickly. I had to actually, I put it in, I thought, God, I don't know if I did that right. And then what happened was it just showed where it shows up on the screen is a place I wasn't expecting. So if, if you're the person that asked me this equation, I just, re, I just moved it around and I put everything on one side of the equation. So I have y squared minus 2x minus a buck 08, right? Oh, shoot. Obviously, you can see what I messed up here. So there's my comma. I'm just going to go back and fix it. Go back to here and type in zeros, right? Z E R O S zeros, right? And then I'm gonna put this in terms of Y. Y. Right? And that's the expression that I was given. And there it is. And so I got that and I was like, oh my god, maybe it doesn't work, but it does. I think it's just hidden down here. And you can take a really good look at it maybe here. See, there it is. See it? All right. And there's no, there's no question about why this number is what it is. And if you go back to your equation, you'll see why. And if you had typed this in as an equation, if you had solved that expression in terms of, in terms of y, you would have gotten y equals the square root of 2x plus 108. And you just would have gotten the green side of this curve, wouldn't you? You would have put it into some looking more like a function. So, okay, I hope this was really helpful, and I hope this is what you're asking for. If not, I really did do my best, so...